Hey, what's up? Malibu RCers here. Colton here. Uh, we got a special video for you today. Um, without further ado, let's kind of get into it. Uh, Dad, why don't you unveil what's underneath this sheet here? What's up, guys? All right, check it out. Wow, dude. Dude, this is sweet because now we can get you guys some sweet action shots of the Arma, the Revo, and stuff like that. This is our new camera rig. It is the legendary Legend RC truck. I haven't really checked into it yet, but uh, for a nice little intro truck for like kids or someone that's just starting out, someone older that wants to get out and play with a little four wheeler, um, you can get in this truck for about 155. Um, comes with two LiPo batteries, um, chargers, uh, USB charger, a little LiPo bag. Um, I think the battery's on the charger somewhere around here. Let's grab it. Another cool part about this truck is that it's super quiet. We did cheat a little bit. We did test it out just a smidge just before we did the unboxing, but that's okay. Um, Here's the batteries. Eventually we'll break down into the truck too, but for this video, we're gonna kind of show you how we're gonna set up our camera rig and whatnot. Um, first things first, the body. It's gonna be We're, <laughs> we're not gonna shot. use it. Made on the other <laughs> um, another thing you can see on this truck, it's super cool. I'll come grab you guys right now. And the little two batteries. So the two batteries it did come with. And it seems like it's an all-enclosed truck. Um, this is where the batteries go. There's your little brain for the computer and whatnot. Um, haven't really seen where the steering servo's at. We're assuming it's under this plate here, but we haven't really torn into it. We just took it for a small test run. Uh, it's going to definitely be a camera truck, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of metal plate and we're going to mount it on the top here. Then we're going to probably cut the springs a little bit and lower it down just a tad, just get the weight down, get more of a direct shot with the axles. Then we're going to end up taking uh, our GoPro and our other cameras and mounting them in all different directions, bring it uh, lower so when we're crawling and stuff we can get some low shots of the suspension work on the uh traxxas rigs or low z's whatever we're we're testing um the controller itself um it's okay it's not you know i don't want to say it's cheap but you know it for the price range you have a low and a high it's all right i mean they're just trying to get a uh Lower price truck just to get you know people started and uh, how much and, was it? Uh, uh, this was one fifty seven with free shipping. Was it so, free shipping, Grandpa? Yeah, yeah. So free shipping. Um, like I said, we haven't really tested them out, but you know how expensive does your controllers really need to be? Because if you end up dropping them, breaking them, you can always replace them. Yeah, usually um, the cheaper the better. <laughs> but if uh, you know, you want something a little bit nicer, then you can always add a different controller. You can always upgrade it to like a Spectrum, Fataba, um, and you, Legend probably has a more expensive radio too, but they they built a nice little truck for the price. Um, you know, one, like we said, 157 with the two batteries and it's we're got kind of adjustable shocks. Yep. Um, it looks like it's got metal dog bones as well. Yeah, you can run both batteries at once. It comes with a, a little adapter. Oh, it actually um, came with that adapter. Yeah, it came with the oh, adapter. I ordered that. Nope, came with the adapter. And you can run run two. The only thing that is what I don't really care for is if you go to run both batteries, there's a lot of wire and the plug that you got to get fitting in here. So you're cramming wires. Um, but for what we're going to use it for, we're going to be using one battery. Um, so probably the next steps you're going to see is us uh, having a camera truck with it. And, uh, you know, that's kind of where we're going to go with it. And another thing, guys, is with this new plate setup and stuff like that, we're going to give you at least try to give you five different camera angles just to make the coolest videos possible for you just really show you what we can do with our cars and stuff like that get you sweet shots of the arma the uh e-revo which also reminds me about the arma and e-revo we're going to have a shootout between the e-revo 2.0 and the arma infraction v2 so watch out for that video it's going to be sick 
number two versus number two, and then we're also going to have a shootout between a 2014 Ford F-150 with a 5.0 against the Arma, that's right, the Arma Infraction V2. So also watch for that video too. All right, guys, we'll see you in a little bit and check up in with you. Peace.